Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to solve pre-order traversal of a binary tree using a stack. In a pre-order traversal, as you know, we visit the root node first, process it, then visit the left child and finally the right child. So here, instead of recursion, which uses stack implicitly, we'll use our own stack. So the idea is, Whenever we visit a node, we shall process the node and add the node to the stack. If the node that we visit is null, then we will pop a node from the stack and move to its right child. So we will continue this until the stack is not empty or the node that we visit is not equal to null. So let's visualize that here. Initially, the node current points to node 5, which is not null. So we will add 5 to the output. So, so we are processing the node. And then let's add that node to the stack and move to its left child. Now, node 9 is not null. Hence, we'll process that node, add to the output, add the node to the stack, and move to its left child. Now, the node is null. So we'll pop the node which is again 9. So current node gets the value of 9. So now, now current points to node 9 and then we will move to the right child of 9. So current, again current is equal to null. So we will pop, pop this node from the stack. So current will be 5 and move to the right child of 5. So 8 is not null. So we will process 8 first, add 8 to the stack and then move to its left child. Again, left child is null, so current gets the value of 8. We'll pop the node and then move to the right child now. 4 is not null, so we'll process 4. Add 4 to the stack and then move to its left child. 3 is not null, we'll add 3 to the output, 3 to the stack and then move to its left child. Current node is null, so we'll pop the node from the stack and then we will move to the right child of 3. Current node is null, so we will pop the node from the stack and then move to the right child of 4. Node 10 is not null, so we will process 10, add 10 to the stack, move to the left child of 10. Now current is null, so we will pop the node from the stack and then move to the right child. Now current current is null, the stack is empty, so we can, so that's the end of the post order traversal. Now with this understanding, let's try to code this. Here the output is a list of integer, so the written value is a list, a list of integer, so let's create a list of integer, call it output. It's new or a list. Now we will create a stack, stack of three nodes. Let's name it stack. And then Let's have a node called current gets the value of root. So like I explained, the idea is while stack is not empty, so stack is not empty or the node that we process current is not equal to null in either of these two cases. Now we'll check if the current node is not equal to null then we will process the node that is we are adding the node's value to the output. So output dot add current dot value We will add the node to the stack. 
start.push current node and then move to the left child if the in the other cases if the node is null if current is null then we will pop the node so current gets the value of stack dot pop the value in the top of stack and then we will move to the right child of current so at the end of it let's return whatever is the output so let's try to run this so is working correctly I'll try to submit solution all right it is working fine so thank you everyone for watching this video if you enjoyed it please hit the like button and also do subscribe in the next video I'll be doing the in-order traversal using a stack thank you